All right, so that was a solid enough FA Cup victory uh, against Derby. Now, to be honest, Derby were very poor, uh, especially defensively. They had one defender that was, seemed to clear up a lot of their, uh, well, our attacks. He was intercepting a lot. But apart from that, they were very, very poor. So, you know, it, it's hard to judge what we can do when we, like, basically when we play Stoke, when we play other games, like... How, how are we going to react? Are we going to be the same team or are we going to be a bit different? Because we did look a lot different in this game, but is that because Derby was so bad defensively? That's the questions I'm posing. Now, I was disappointed that Andros Pereira didn't get any minutes. Same as Memphis. This game was tailor-made for Memphis, all right? The defending was so bad and you could see players like Martial beating players at will. He was fantastic today, but this game was tailor-made for Memphis. Yet still, we go with Jesse Lingard who did get a very good assist in the second half but bar that he was very very poor and that was established by his like really really bad shot that you know his contender for worst shot of the season to be honest it went out for a throw and uh, also I don't see the point of playing two CDMs I, I say this every time but I, I literally don't all right Fellini is not a CDM and I don't blame him too much for being played there because it's Louis van Gaal who is putting him there and he was okay today but I also think it's hurting Schneidlin when he's partnered with someone else I don't think he needs a partner I think he's better when he's a sole CDM because he reads the game and he doesn't have to judge what the other player is doing and he doesn't have to change his position to um, you know capitalise on all that so I think it's better if we just roll with one or if we are going to go with a CDM why don't we try and buy a striker, sorry, a centre back in the window, even though there's two days left, and then put Daily Blind as a CDM because he he ran all the way from centre back to get the second goal, and you know maybe we need runners from the midfield where he when he plays as a CDM. Like wh why aren't we doing that? Like runners from midfield, we can get a few more goals out of him, and I think he'd do better there than in centre back because it is one of his default positions, that or left back. And yeah, he scored a stunning goal because of it. Wayne Rooney was very good, not just because of his amazing goal, but his first touches, his vision was improved. Usually he just like looks out wide, punts it there, but now he was actually making some great passes that were creating chances. And uh, yeah, obviously he scored that wonderful goal, which was offside. Two of our goals were offside, so thankfully we got a bit of luck today. Uh, which you know maybe we've been afforded because we haven't had much this season so yeah we did get a bit of luck two offside goals that w weren't given us offside but Rooney's finish was exceptional the second goal a good well the first goal was Marcel's brilliant assist and as I say a Rooney brilliant finish second goal was Daly Blind uh, who again ran in from the midfield absolutely brilliant Jesse Lingard good pass and Daly Blind with a great finish and the third goal was Terrific! It was offside, but Martial manages to beat his opponent, and he just knows matters there, and he slots it in. If Martial can improve some of his decision making, that he uh, seems to sometimes get a bit wrong. That's purely because of age. I think he's trying to prove himself, um, and some of his decision making. If he if he can get that right, some of his finishing maybe, then he's going to be absolutely amazing. He was terrific in this game, man of the match, hands down. He was creating so many problems, and I'm so glad we've got him. He's only 20, and he's only going to get better. Really, if he can finish like he did when he first came to United, we'll be brilliant. Another worrying factor, though, against Derby is that they didn't really have any attacking threat. And the one chance that they had, they scored. It was a great pass, and our defence was split. Blind and Smalling didn't seem to have any awareness. And, uh, yeah, it was a goal. And that was to level it. And it was 1-1 at half-time, but thankfully we ran out 3-1 winners. So there are some positives for sure but we've got to remember it is only a championship side who were just trashed by Burnley so my only worry is are we going to just return back to what we were before this game so hopefully I, I you know hopefully we can go on a consistent run but that's the thing I'm not going to get too happy until we show it consistently and now we're in the last 16 of the FA Cup this is our best chance to win a trophy we haven't won this trophy in 11 years let's go for it let's win it honestly I really want to win it and then we need to obviously improve our league form. So against Stoke, if we can play like this, we'll have a better chance. So I just want to see some consistency. I'm happy with the win, happy we're through, but we need to maintain consistency now.